x to the power of square root of x equals to 3. How do we find the value of x? Solution. We have x to the power of square root of x equals to 3. Let's assume square root of x all square is equals to x, which is indeed true. So anywhere we see x, we will replace it with this guy. So from here, we're going to have square root of x all square times square root of x equals to 3. This implies that square root of x, 2 times square root of x, that is 2 root x, let's put this in bracket, equals to 3. Now, let square root of x to be equals to y. So, in place of square root of x, we will replace it with y. So, from here, we're going to have y to the power of 2 times square root of x, that is y equals to 3. Now, let us take the natural log of both sides. So, doing that, we're going to have plain y to the power of 2y equals to ln 3, which implies that this left-hand side is the same thing as 2y ln y equals to ln 3. This property is from rules of logarithm. So let's proceed further. This implies that y ln y is equals to ln 3 over 2. That is, divide both sides by 2, we get this. Now, some of us will know this property very well, that is, y is the same thing as e to the power of ln y. So in this case, we are going to replace this y, little y, with this guy. So from here, we're going to have ln y what is y replace it with this guy times e to the power of ln y equals to this right hand side ln 3 over 2 now we have to recall the lambert w function formula it says that w of a times e to the power of a is equals to a this property is called lambert w function formula Let's take note of this assume. So now, from here, take the lambda w function of both sides. So we're going to have w of this guy, ln y times e to the ln y equals to w of this right hand side, w of ln 3 over 2. So let's proceed further. Of course, if you compare this left hand side, with this guy this left hand side will becomes what we're gonna have ln y that is this guy is a and this power is a so we have this equals to w of ln 3 over 2 so taking the oil of both side so we're gonna have e to the power of ln y equals to e to the power of w of ln 3 over 2 what is this guy? e to the power of ln y. That is exactly what we have here. y. y is equals to e to the power of w of ln 3, 3 over 2. But our aim is to find the value of x. But we have y here. So since square root of x is equals to y, from this as option, let me show you. This guy, let's proceed further. This guy now becomes square root of x equals to e to the power of w of ln 3 over 2. If you take the square of both sides, this left hand side becomes x equals to e to the power of w of ln 3 over 2 all squared. This implies that x is equals to 2 times this entity we have e to the power of 2 times w of ln 3 over 2 so therefore x is equals to if you plug this guy into wolfram alpha you will obtain 2.1248 which is the real solution so that's it for this video Thanks for watching.